Good evening, everyone. I'd like to welcome you to the February 15, 2024, Mount Palmyra School Board meeting. If you please stand. We'll say the Pledge of Allegiance, followed by a moment of silence. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Moment of silence. Thank you. You can be seated. Roll call. Mr. Valiant. Here. Mr. Berezovsky. Here. Mr. Brecker. Present. Mr. Gonzalo. Here. Mr. Hickson. Here. Mr. James is present. Mr. Muldowney. Here. Mr. Venos. Here. Mr. Zach. Here. All present. Announcements, Mr. Chair. Uh, thank you, Mr. Randall. Just quick announcements from the superintendent desk. Just some important dates going on, obviously, with uh, the snow day. So tomorrow's an act day, early dismissal. Uh, this coming Monday, February 19th, is our first snow makeup day. Monday, March 11th, is makeup day number two. And because of our snow day earlier in the week, now Monday, March 25th of Easter week, is our third snow makeup day. Tuesday and Wednesday of that week, the 26th and 27th, those are still off days leading into Easter break. But again, those are days four and five. Uh, of our snow makeup day. So those are makeup days if needed. Uh, we will be off Thursday, Friday, and Monday of Easter week, just a reminder. Uh, as I mentioned in our alert now to the community the other day with the uh, snow closure, at this point, families should at least review, at this point, the FID, Flexible Instructional Day guidelines. There's a little bit unique of a schedule uh, dependent on building and grade. Uh, if and when we may, ne may need to use those types of days. So again, we're, at this point, just review that, be ready. We, in my mind, we are one big storm, one of those big storms that we might remember where uh, I'm sure we remember or back when we were in school decades ago that we were out all week because of snow. So one big storm like that, we're enacting fit days. So I'm just telling the community to, again, just prepare for that. Our admin is working hard. Our teachers are prepared. We just want to make sure the kiddos and our parents are aware for that if and when we have to enact those fit days. Uh, finally, just again, congratulations to uh, Brett and Allison Beach and their whole family. Again, how proud Mount Carmel area is of Brett. Um, every, I hope the community knows that we obviously had a pep rally for Brett this last week. Again, I know he's a busy guy. We reached out to him about Tuesday of Super Bowl week and said, hey, we're going to have a pep rally. You think you can get some videos to us? And he's like, no problem. And he took some time out of his busy schedule to do that. So it was really a treat for our kids and our community. And we are very obviously proud of everything that Brett uh, continues to accomplish with the Chiefs. And that's all I have, Ms. Brown. Right. Thank you, Mr. Chair. By uh, this time, we'd like to recognize Student Merit Award winners. We're going to start with our January Award winner, uh, Isla Burns. And Mrs. James is going to read that. I, uh, uh, Isla is over here, right? <laughs> Hello. Um, it is with great pleasure that we nominate Isla Burns, sixth grader for this month's Merit Award, which was January. Um, Isla is the perfect recipient of this award because she contributes to the, to the success of Mount Carmel Area Elementary by promoting a positive school environment through her actions and her words. Isla always displays a positive attitude. She is very respectful and polite to others. She exhibits qualities of honesty, integrity, and kindness. She has an overall friendly disposition and is thoughtful and helpful. She is sweet and kind to everyone and thinks of others, other people's feelings. She always has a welcoming smile to share and offers assistance in the classroom whenever it is needed. Academically, Isla is an ideal student who is eager to learn. She is a hard worker and goes above and beyond to complete all assignments. Isla is very conscientious of her work and will not settle for less than perfection. Her love for education is evident and does not go unnoticed as she attains distinguished honors each marking period. Isla also contributes to our school uh, community by playing the flute in the elementary band. Outside of school, she cheers for the junior red tornadoes and takes tumbling lessons. She enjoys camping, crafting, baking, and being with her family and dogs. Isla is the daughter of Josh Burns and Chrissy Valenia. She resides in Mount Carmel with her parents and brother, Sullivan Burns. Isla is truly deserving of this honor. We are pr so proud to have her in sixth grade and thankful to be able to teach her. We have no doubt that she will continue to, to succeed in all of her endeavors. And we are excited to see what great accomplishments she will achieve in the future. And it, it is um, a big congratulations from all of your sixth grade teachers. 
So on behalf of the Mount Carmel Area Board of Education, I would like to present you with the Merit Award for January 2024. Congratulations. Thank you. Would you like to say anything? <laughs> we reviewed all of this. <laughs> That's fine. All right. The uh, February Elementary Award winner is Caleb Steinbauer, and Mrs. James is also going to read that. I don't have Caleb. Oh, you, oh, you have Caleb. Okay. I'm sorry. I mixed it up. That's Go okay. Ahead. Mr. Brecker is going to read Caleb's. Okay. Sixth grade student Caleb Steinbar was chosen as the recipient of this month's Merit Award for Mount Carmel Area Elementary School. Caleb's manner towards teachers and other students goes unmatched and he consistently shows respect for others. He is an incredibly nice and polite person who always demonstrates qualities of compassion and kindness. He is always willing to help his classmates and teachers and is a pleasure to be around. Caleb sets a strong example for his peers every day. He comes to all of his classes prepared and consistently attains distinguished honors. He is always ready to learn, gets his work done well, and can be seen as one who is doing what is expected. He's quiet yet engaged and is always seems to know what to be doing. He is an excellent example of perseverance as he is focused, works hard, and never gives up. He walks into class with a smile on his face and has an amazing attitude. Caleb is most deserving of this honor, and it is a delight to commend him in this way. Caleb's extracurricular activities include wrestling for the Mount Carmel Area Elementary team and playing basketball for Locust Gap. He also enjoys hunting, filmmaking, and playing video games. Parents of Caleb are Michael and Nicole Steinbauer and siblings Barrett and Noel. Congratulations, Caleb, your sixth grade teachers. So on behalf of the Mount Carmel Area Board of Education, Congratulations, Caleb. And you look like a young man who wants to say something. <laughs> Our high school merit award winner winner for February is Emily Morris. Emily's back there. And Mrs. James will read this. Hi, Emily. <laughs> I got this. Um, the Mount Carmel Area Board of Education Merit Award winner for the month of February is Junior Emily Morris. She was nominated for the Merit Award by Mrs. Munger, who said, I am recommending Emily Morris for the MCA School, School Board Merit Award. Emily is a role model in our learning community and emulates what it means to have tornado pride. Emily is a distinguished honor student ranking third in her class with an overall GPA of 101.38. She currently attends Bloomsburg University half days as part of the school STEM program. I have had the pleasure of coaching Emily when she was a seventh, eighth, and ninth grader on the sideline and competition team, as well as assisting, assisting coaching during her time on the varsity sideline and, and competition team the last two years. In addition to her studies and cheerleading, Emily serves as a treasurer of her class, as well as a treasurer for a novel idea reading club. Emily has helped the SWPB team in teaching behaviors to students at the beginning of the year as a student volunteer. She is also on a yearbook committee and has participated in several math competitions with the math club during her time at the high school. It is rare to find Emily without a smile on her face or without a teamwork attitude. She is always willing to do what she can to help those around her. She is kind, caring, and respectful to all who she comes in contact with. No matter what obstacles she faces, she is resilient and strives for success, even when the going gets tough. She is a great role model for students, and I will leave a lasting, yeah, and she will leave a lasting impression on those who knew her at MCA. Emily is a member of the varsity sideline and competition cheerleading teams. She is a school yearbook editor, a member of a novel idea reading club, the math club, pep club, student council, future teachers of America, and the National Honor Society. Emily is also the treasurer of her junior class. Emily is the daughter of Jennifer and Damon Morris of Denmark Gardens. Emily, congratulations on behalf of the Mount Carmel Area School Board of Education. I would like to present you with the February Merit Award. Would you like to say anything? Um, I just want the school board and the administration, all of my teachers and coaches, especially to Mrs. Longer, nominate me. Thank you. 
the par parents, congratulations. As we, as we always say, that uh, the children are really a product of you guys raising them and the hard work you've put into them. So thank you. So you guys deserve a round of applause as well. Coming. Uh, you are welcome to stay for the rest of our school board meeting if you'd like. But if you'd want to run out, we would understand. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. 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 All right. Yeah. At this point, a motion is needed to approve the minutes of our January 18, 2024 regular board meeting. Motion. Motion, Mr. Bally. Second, Mr. Gonzalo. On the question, all in favor, aye. Aye. Motion passes. Is there a PTA representative report? Hey, Mrs. Segrist. Oh, um, nice to see you all again. Uh, <clears throat> so next Thursday is our first book bingo that we've had in a very long time. Uh, it's free for any, any of the students and parents to participate in. Um, <clears throat> we have enough books to give out um, a, a book to every single person who comes uh, or the students who participate. Um, Following that, in the first two weeks of March, we're hoping to have our readathon, which was a very um, successful event last year and got a lot of students reading. I think we had over 48,000 minutes of reading accomplished by the, the students of the elementary school last year um, through this program. Um, <clears throat> we are always looking for more people to get involved. In fact, um, we, we are struggling to get people to participate at this point. Um, we are trying our best as the leadership of the Mount Carmel Area PTA to provide value added activities and programs and support the school in any way that we can, but we can only do so much as a very limited board. And uh, if, we, if we don't have the participation, it's very hard to keep the program going. So uh, we're always welcoming for student or parents and grandparents, Teachers, whoever wants to participate, you're welcome. So that's all I have. Great, okay, thank you. Um, at this point, any recognition of guests desiring to speak to look at agenda items? Not online. Okay. Administrative reports, Mr. Shatter. Nothing additional at this time. All right. Principals report, senior high, junior high. Yep. I want to do senior and junior high. Okay. Trooper Sarah Barrett from the Pennsylvania State Police presented to students in grades seven and eight regarding the Camp Cadet program that he held in the summer. Junior senior high schools recently held a Super Bowl pep rally to honor alum and Chiefs General Manager Brett Beach. Second marking period GBR Day will be held on Monday, February 19th. Mrs. Damansky's math students recently participated in the Math Counts competition at Penn State School <laughs> Campus. Three high school teams are preparing for the Odyssey of Mind competition to be held in March. Third marking period progress reports will be posted on February 21st. And just like to quickly thank Frank Brosh and our maintenance crew for all their hard work throughout the winter. Thank you. All right, elementary. Hi, good evening, everyone. Apologies to see here. Just a, a quick, a few quick things. Um, elementary progress reports will be sent home and posted on the student information system on Wednesday, February 21st. Um, Pre K and kindergarten registration are still ongoing. Um, folks may pick up a packet in the elementary principal's office, and the secretaries will schedule an appointment to return the packet and complete the registration process. Um, next week, we're actually in the elementary school. Uh, celebrating at Kindness Week. So we have a theme spirit week with a different theme each day for our Be Kind Week. Um, thank you especially to Mrs. Lockie and Mrs. Malasevich, our school counselors, um, for taking the lead in organizing that. Um, as Mrs. Seekers mentioned, we're excited about the book bingo, which is next week, so I don't need to touch on that anymore. And as she also mentioned, plans for Read Across America activities. Um, we have a Dr. Seuss themed dress down week plan for that week for March 4th through March 8th, and um, the evening of March 4th, we're also having um, a community, a, a career planning and community engagement activity where we have some folks in the community coming in um, to do different presentations on their careers. And finally, um, Odyssey, the mind preparations are underway. Um, 
So special thanks to the participants, coaches, and parents because we'll be wrapping, wrapping up with that. Thank you. That's all I have. Thank you, Mr. Mexico. Special education director's report. I'll be doing that tonight. Okay, okay so um, in the uh, high school, the life skills um, classroom, um, I think I mentioned this a while back, they're doing life skills of the month with MCA Live. So this month um, with Joey and a couple other students, they did how to make hot chocolate with for National Hot Chocolate Day. And um, stay tuned for next month, which will be how to wash your laundry. So they'll be doing that with MCA Live. Um, in the elementary school, we just recently, they did a chili cook-off with life skills, language development in um, K through three learning sport classes. So uh, the papers class was the winner. It was really great. I got to be a judge, a couple of the other admin and some of the teachers got to judge this. So all the chili was delicious, um, but we had to pick a winner, but it was, it was really fun. The kids had a great time and um, got to develop some of those skills on how to help make chili and, and those types of things. Um, Half the testing window um, is beginning March 11th. Um, we had our early intervention meetings last week. So we have 18 students entering kindergarten with services this year so far. Um, Spartan games are being planned for May 7th. Um, so Mrs. Elgin and I are helping with Mount Carmel preparing for Spartan games. We have to defend our four by 100 title for the, the relay race. So we do have that coming up. And then transition conference at Susquehanna University. That is for the 11th and 12th graders on March 4th. Thank you, Ms. Edmondson. Yep. Uh, maintenance report. Good evening. Over the past month, there have been a few needed repairs on major equipment, including a new actuator valve installed on the pool heater, a new compressor on order for the pool pack unit, and a new coil for the OTPT classroom located in the elementary. A new one-piece entrance mat has been placed at the high school lobby to prevent students and faculty from falling. The new nets have arrived for the tennis basketball court complex just in time for opening in the next couple of weeks. With the weather being so unpredictable this time of year, we are ready for snow removal at any time, but also doing prep work for our spring sports and grass cutting season. That's all I have for this evening. Thank you. Mr. Rosh, athletic director's report. Good evening, everyone. Our bocce ball team has made the league playoffs for the first time. Playoffs will be held on February 27th at Central Columbia High School, so congratulations to them. Sectionals for wrestling will be held at Southern Columbia this Saturday beginning at 10 a.m., and then district wrestling will follow the next weekend at Williamsport High School. All nine of our swimmers have advanced to district. Swimming district will be held February 27th and 28th. The first, first round of district basketball playoffs will be held next Thursday and Friday. Both our boys and girls teams have secured a spot in playoffs. More information on that with definite times and play sites will be presented next week on our athletics Facebook page and school district website. Our spring sports season will begin on March 4th. Any student who is playing a sport for the first time this season in the spring is reminded that they will need a physical prior to the start of the season. PIAA mm -hmm. physical papers will be um, can be picked up in the athletic office or on the school district website. The stadium and tennis court will be open for the public beginning on Monday, April 1st. And we are asking that there are no walkers at the stadium during the times of any track and field practices or events that may be taking place at the stadium. And lastly, we would just like to thank all of our winter sports event workers, as well as our maintenance staff for their efforts during our winter sports season. Um, we truly would not be able to put on events without them, and we're thankful for their constant commitment. That's all I have. Thank you. All right, at this time, our motion is needed to approve athletic items one through seven as listed. Motion, motion Mr. Gazala. Second. Second, Mr. Muldowney on the question. Roll call vote. Mr. Valiot. Yes. Mr. Borosowski. Yes. Mr. Becker. Yes. Mr. Gonzalo. Yes. Mr. Hickson. Yes. Mr. James Yes. Mr. Muldowney. Yes. Mr. Reno. Yes. Mr. Zach. Yes. Okay, motion is needed to approve financial items one through four. Motion. Motion, Mr. Zach. Second. Second, Mr. Bally. On the question, a roll call vote. Mr. Brecker. Yes. Mr. Gonzalo. Yes. Mr. Hickson. Yes. Mrs. James Melchest. Mr. Muldowney. Yes. Mr. Reno. Yes. Mr. Zach. Yes. Mr. Bally. Yes. Mr. Barosowski. Yes. Any committee reports? 
Mr. Chair, any community reports? Uh, nothing additional at this time. Just a okay. reminder to the community, the foundation will actually be meeting next month. Okay. Um, the only thing we have coming up uh, for the foundation wise, uh, just a reminder, uh, our tornado brick project orders. If you're trying to get your brick in for the start of the football season, we need those ordered by May 1st. Okay. All right. Thank you. All right. New business motion to approve new business items one through 13 as listed. Motion. Motion, Mr. Muldowney. Second. Second, Mr. Berzowski. Any questions? Okay, roll call vote. Mr. Zach. Yes. Mr. Valley. Yes. Mr. Berzowski. Yes. Mr. Brecker. Yes. Mr. Gonzalo. Yes. Mr. Hickson. Yes. Mr. James Mokshas. Mr. Muldowney. Yes. Mr. Reno. Yes. All right. Motion is needed to approve personnel items one through five as listed. A motion. Motion. Motion, Mr. Gonzalo. Second. Second, Mr. Brecker. One question. Roll call vote. Mr. Balliot. Yes. Mr. Berzowski. Yes. Mr. Brecker. Yes. Mr. Gonzalo. Yes. Mr. Hexen. Yes. Mr. James Wilkes. Mr. Muldowney. Yes. Mr. Reno. Yes. Mr. Zach. Yes. All right, are there any public comments or questions at this time? Not online. Not online. If not, do we have a motion to adjourn? Motion. Motion, Mr. Muldowney. Second. Second, Mr. Berzowski. All in favor? Okay. Our next meeting is March 21st, 2024. Thank you, everyone.